Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Ashley here. Thank you so much again for joining me. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name is Ashley Schubert and I blog behind Miss Gunner. Um, on Instagram, I am Miss underscore Gunner. You can find me there. Um, I normally blog about fashion, lifestyle and just funny stuff. <laughs> so and today we're going to be talking about my top five favorite designer handbags. So let's get into it guys. Uh, my this is probably not in any order, <laughs> but let's go for this one first. So this is the Balenciaga camera bag. I bought this one last year. As you can see, it's a little bit haggard <laughs> because I use it so much. So this bag is, I normally use this one when I travel. So everywhere that I go, I just throw this in because it's super handy. It's crossbody and it's such a good size. It fits my passport, my little camera, a bunch of makeup. It's such a good size bag. Um, and it's leather and it's one of those leather that like doesn't scratch or doesn't, nothing happens to it. Also, one time I was in Ibiza at a pool party and um, someone threw a ball at my head and I fell into the pool with this bag, with all my camera, everything inside and it was like semi waterproof and I came out and everything inside was perfectly fine. Whereas if I had other bags, water would have gotten in and it would have been a disaster. So this bag is one of my luckiest bag, I guess. Um, and it's just very durable. So it's basically has one, <laughs> one big inside bit. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you describe it. One little pouch here and also a little pouch at the back there. It's a good little bag for travel. And it's not that expensive as well. I think I bought this one for, I think it was 800 pounds at the time, but I will link a uh, current price down in the descri description box for you guys. The second bag that I absolutely love is my little Fendi camera bag. So this bag is amazing. It comes with this beautiful strap with F on it as well. Also, again, this bag is like waterproof. Feel this material, it's almost like, um parachute <laughs> material and the top bit is like this nice beautiful smooth leather um, and it's got gold hardware on it as you can see I used this yesterday and I still have my wallet my battery pack <laughs> my battery pack my huge ass wallet with all my cards in it a bunch of makeup some perfume um, it fits so much in this bag so and also um, if I'm not careful if I'm just like running around town you know not too dressy that I love this bag because it's super super durable um, I do my stuff really well but I like a bag that I can just throw around a little you know um, I have other bags that are a bit more fragile and I find that, that I only use those like on special occasions. I mean, you're spending so much money on a handbag, you might as well try to make the most of it and use it every day. But this bag is definitely a must. I bought this one, I think last year as well. So I'll link the price for you guys below. But yeah, that's the second one. And here it is. Of course it is my Dior saddle bag. I also bought this one last year, I think. But I probably, if I travel overseas, I will take this bag because it goes with everything you can dress it up dress it down um, I've got the strap it's crossbody it's just a beautiful bag and I want to get one in like a black a black leather one as well in a medium the only thing is the canvas inside like if you're not careful like me it gets really dirty from like makeup and lip gloss and whatnot I don't really know how to clean that bit but anyways it's um You'd be surprised, like it fits quite a lot. Like normally when I travel, it fits my wallet, my passport, battery pack, all that jazz. Um, which you think like it's such a little bag, it might not, but it's actually quite a good size. And every time I wear this, someone will be like, oh my God, I love your bag. Whereas all the other bags, no one ever really said anything. But yeah, but this is definitely one of my favorites. And, and, and now I know why it's such a classic that it came back again because it's such a beautiful bag and it's so unique from any of my other bags that I own. So yeah, that's my third favorite handbags. And then my fourth bag that I love. Okay, this is not really a handbag as such, but I'm just going for the ones that I use the most, I guess. Um, I don't know, maybe I need to change the title of the video to like my most used, my most durable <laughs> handbag collection. Balenciaga. 
tote bag, I guess. And it's in black canvas and it's a cloth material on the inside. It's got a little pocket there. I got this one from Bista Village actually. Oh, also the leather, it's leather on the bottom. This one from Bista Village from, yeah, about two years ago. And I probably use this, I don't know, three, four times a week at least. <laughs> um, every time I go for a photo shoot, for a shoot with Michaela, this is what I put my handbags in here and my shoes and my clothes go into like a rolly luggage. When I travel overseas, I take this, I put like on my laptop, on my crap and junk in here. And for you to go check out Vista Village, if you want to get like a little Balenciaga, you know, deals. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is like a really handy bag. I mean, it's not that expensive, but it's probably the one that I use the most. But it's perfect for even like a weekend bag guys like gym bag weekend bag you know this is this is a it has it all <laughs> okay and my all-time favorite bag would have to be you guessed it i think <laughs> is my little chanel boy bag i bought this one many years ago so i would have to say at least four years yeah must be um i bought this one when i came to london for a holiday in bond street and i love 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 this bag i've used it so so much and look at it guys i mean still looks brand new to me maybe i just need to clean it a little bit but this is why i love a chanel bag because nothing changes with this in 10 years in 20 years i can still wear this bag and i'm 100 percent sure it'll look amazing you don't understand how much i throw around this bag like when i'm on the plane i throw it under the seat i throw it over into the into the top bed um when i'm in the in my uber i throw it like on the floor nothing happens to it it doesn't scratch whatsoever whereas my diorama <laughs> bag I, I touch it and it scratches like as soon as I used it I it scratches so it's a it's a bag that I have to baby but whereas this boy bag it's like worth every cent the only thing that I probably regret is maybe I would like to get a medium one because really the small fits like <laughs> not much inside um, I can't put my camera in here only my wallet and um, my t little battery pack not my regular battery pack because i have multiple sizes <laughs> but um but yeah but I, I i still love it it looks so beautiful in every outfit you know it's just a, a classic bag isn't it so that is it for today guys all my top five favorite designer handbags it's not really handbags i don't know would you consider this a handbag but it, i guess it's the top five handbags that I use the most. Um, anyways guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys love the video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Also, if there's anything else that you'd like to see, hit me up with a comment um, and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye!